Hello, first grade. All right, so we are back for another remote learning lesson today. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about a calendar and calendar time. So we are going to, by the end of this lesson, be able to read a monthly calendar to the date and day of the week and be able to predict other dates within that same month and within the year. So we are going to get ready for this lesson by pretending that we are back in school. So you're gonna pretend you're in a classroom for a second, go over a couple little expectations for you guys. I want you to be able to sit up straight wherever you're sitting, could be your couch, kitchen, bedroom, wherever you're at, make sure you're sitting up straight. I want you guys to get rid of your other distractions So put those other devices away for a few minutes. And I want you to be able to watch the screen very carefully and listen very carefully, all right? So now I think we are ready to move on and start learning about a calendar. Ready? All right, so I wanna go over some vocabulary words that you guys are gonna see throughout this lesson because I don't want you guys to be overwhelmed by these words. We're just gonna go over them one at a time and make sure you know what these are before we start breaking them apart. So a calendar, a calendar is a chart showing days and weeks of the month in a certain year. So we're gonna be talking about the year 2020 because that's the year we're in right now. So a calendar is a chart showing days and weeks in that month for a certain year. A week, a week is a period of seven days and there are usually about four weeks in a month. Sometimes that gets a little tricky, but usually about four weeks in a month. A month is a period of 28 to 31 days, depending on which month. Some are a little bit longer than others, but it can be anywhere from 28 to 31 days. And there are 12 named months in a year. Yesterday, all right, the word yesterday means the day before today, before today. So the word today is this day right now, the day that you're in, this very moment, this day is today. And then tomorrow is the day after today. All right, you guys got those words? Because you're gonna hear them a lot through this lesson. All right, so let's take a look at April. We are in April right now, and this is the month of April for 2020. So this is what our month looks like right now if you were to look at a, at a calendar. So I want you to take a look right up at the top. These are the days of the week. So we know that there are seven days in the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And you're always gonna see those on a calendar. Now, you can also go down to the bottom of this and you can see that there are numbers on these squares throughout the calendar. Those are the number of days in that month. So there are 30 days in April. Now, if we wanted to figure out which day April started on, we would have to look for what? That's right, we'd have to look for number one. So how do we find the first day of the month? We're gonna go back up to the top. And we're gonna look for that number one. So whatever day of the week that one falls on, that's when that month has started. So April, we know, started on this day right here. Let me get out my pen. This day right here. It's a rough circle, but that is Wednesday. Wednesday, April this year started on a Wednesday. So actually, we are only on the second day of April. This is today. We are on the second day of April. So how do we know what day yesterday, today, and tomorrow is going to be. Now, if you're looking at a calendar, it's really easy to figure out yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So if you know that today is number two, we're on April 2nd, which is Thursday. So today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. If you wanted to figure out yesterday, all you have to do is jump backwards one on your calendar. So yesterday, jump backwards one, was number one. So you went backwards one, and that was yesterday. So yesterday was Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. And that was the first day of the month. So March ended, no more March, and April started. So now we're in April. All right, so let me erase all these. Now, once again, we know that today is Thursday, April 2nd. So if we wanted to figure out what tomorrow looked like, we would have to jump forward one on a calendar. So if today is Thursday, we can see that tomorrow is going to be Friday, April 3rd. 
So one more time, if you wanna figure out yesterday, you start on today. So we know that today's the second and we're gonna jump backwards for yesterday. Now, if we wanna figure out tomorrow, we're gonna to start on our day today and we're gonna jump forwards for tomorrow. So that's how you can figure out yesterday and tomorrow looking at a calendar. Now, the other things that you're gonna see on a calendar is that there are boxes, it's a chart. So you're gonna see rows and you're gonna see columns going up and down. Now, we just talked about how a week has seven days in it. So if we wanted to figure out, let's say today is April 2nd. We wanted to figure out what day next week was going to be. We would have to just jump down to this day, seven days away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because we know that there are seven days in a week. So two plus seven equals nine. So we know that next week is going to be April 9th. Another week after that, if we wanted to add seven again, we would jump down, add seven to April 16th. And that's how you could figure out one week from today. Because like I said, there are seven days in one week. All right, let's erase that. Now, I wanna move on and show you guys something here. Now here, this calendar looks a little bit different because this is showing you all of the months in 2020. And how many months did we say were in, 2000, were in a year? That's right, 12. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the same 12 months that happen every single year. So right now, we said that we are in April. This is our month right now. So if we wanted to figure out what next month would be, where would we look? That's right, we would jump forward, we'd go over here. So the next month is gonna be May. What was the month before this one? That's right, March. March was the month before April. So if you're looking at a calendar for the whole year, you'd be able to see each of those months all together. Now, how many months make a year? Okay, we just answered that, that's 12. There are 12 months in a year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 months in a year. What day of the week will June 6th be? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to June 1st, June, and there's the number one, so you know that June is going to start on a Monday right there. This question is asking when June 6th is going to be. So we're gonna find the number six under June and we're going to see that that six actually falls on a Saturday right there, Saturday. And there's your six. So June 6th is going to be a Saturday this year. So it's pretty cool that you can kind of predict the future and you can see what days of the week certain days will be. All right, now I want you to find what day of the month your birthday is going to be on this year. So Ms. Varna's birthday is on April 6th. So if I wanted to see what day of the week my birthday was gonna fall on, I would go to April right here. Then I would find what number, where the number six is. Here's the number six. Oh, and I can see that my birthday is going to fall on a Monday this year. So that's only a couple days away. But April 6th is on a Monday. So you need to take right now, take a few minutes and find what day your birthday is going to be on this year, okay? And how many days are in May? Hmm. All right, so we can go to May right here. Here's May. And we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom because we have to see where May stops. All right, so here is a 31. That's the end of May because then a one starts again. So then June would be starting. So how many days does, are there in May? There are 31 days in the month of May. You can see where that number is down at the bottom of the May calendar. How many days are in September? All right, so now we're gonna go down to September and we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom of that month. 
And we can see this month only has 30. See, because we learned at the beginning in our vocabulary that some months are going to have 28 and some could have up to 31. So it happens, just so happens that September has 30. There's your, their number at the end of the month right there. All right, let's erase these. Okay, so that is the basics of reading a calendar, guys. So we're going to move here. Let's go back and go over real quick what we learned today. All right, so a calendar is a chart that organizes days and weeks of each month. Yesterday, that word yesterday, is the day before today, this current day, the day that you're in right now. Yesterday is the day before that. So on a calendar, you would jump backwards one to figure out what yesterday was. And tomorrow is the day after today. So if you were figuring it out on a calendar, you would jump forward one time to figure out tomorrow. All right, there's our months of the year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December are the 12 months that make up every single year. A week has seven days. So you're always going to see those seven days at the top of your calendar so you can figure out what day of the week certain dates are. A week has seven days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, seven days. And the day that has a number one on it is the first day of that month. So every time you look at a calendar, find where the number one is and you can figure out what day of the week the beginning of that month falls on. All right, this is a link to a really good brain pop. I don't know if it'll let me open it right now. So if you want to copy that link down, you can go to Brain Pop and watch this video. This link is really good, and it kind of just goes over exactly what Ms. Varnum talked about in our calendar lesson for today, all right? And that just says, okay, love you, bye. Good job, guys, and I will see you next time.